<coughs> of course. Whew, okay. I tried to pull it all together and look like something because I just wanted to put a video out so that there will be a video between my last vlog and whatever my next video will be to talk about why I abruptly ended Vlogmas and where I've been for the past over 10 days now. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't want to have to do a lot of edits so I'm just going to try to talk this through and cough as little as possible. I should grab some water actually. Okay. Oh, it's much better. All right, hey good people. I don't know why I'm so like, I feel weird making this video. Um, <clears throat> so if you have been subscribed or watching along in December, you know that at the beginning of the month, I started doing Vlogmas and I was uploading daily videos and I plan to upload daily videos all the way through December 25th. If not December 31st, I had committed to 25 days of uploads, <clears throat> but only got to day 14. To make a longer story very short, um, I have COVID and am currently like on Today is probably one of like the best days that I've felt in the past like 12 days. Um, getting better, feeling better, still dealing with a lot of the impacts, but that is why I ended Vlogmas early. <laughs> Basically on day 14, I woke up that morning, not even, I went to sleep that night before on the 13th, feeling like kind of not great. <laughs> Um, basically felt like I could feel a cold coming on. I was super stuffy, very congested. But I went to bed and I was like, hopefully I'll feel better when I wake up. I woke up. I wasn't feeling great, but I wasn't feeling bad yet. So I got up. I actually edited the day 14 video that morning, uploaded it, and I started filming the day 15 vlog. And the more I was trying to film while also trying to like do work and like be a person I just realized like I am not feeling well but I legitimately felt like I had a cold like I was getting a cold or something like that I didn't even think that I had COVID so the week kept going by Wednesday I was like I'm definitely like ha I have a bad cold and I had already planned to go get a test because I was going home to my parents for Christmas and just wanted the peace of mind so I was always going to take a test but now that I was having cold symptoms I decided I like I wanted to get it faster and I wanted to do a PCR test which is like the regular you wait a couple of days for your results versus a rapid test so that's what I did I went on Friday the 18th to get a regular test at like a local urgent care and then on Saturday as I was on my couch coughing, blowing my nose, and exhausted, my results came in that I was COVID positive. A lot of people, I've been talking about this on Instagram, so if you follow me there, this isn't news to you, but a lot of people have asked, like, you basically were in the house, you wore a mask always, like, how do you think you got it? And I have no idea how, when, or where I got it, but... I think it's important to remind everyone that like the actions that you take during a global pandemic are actions to protect the community, not to protect yourself. So everything that I was doing has helped to keep someone else safe and because I was cautious, it's very likely that I haven't gone around spreading the virus even though there was someone who probably wasn't as safe either because they were irresponsible or because people have been forced to make ridiculously impossible and tough choices throughout this pandemic for their livelihood for their survival for their mental health like without in the United States any governmental support like this is just a massive governmental failure and people some people are of course like doing what they want and being irresponsible and not wearing masks and all that but then there are also people who are just like really trying their best and everything that you do like I said is not for yourself it's for the community and has a direct impact on someone else so all of my good choices I hope I stand by I don't regret being vigilant and I hope that it helped to keep someone else safe 
and I hope in the future other people are able to make those same choices to keep someone safe so they don't get this because this thing is the weirdest, strangest, most vicious virus that I've seen. I've been fortunate that my case was a pretty mild one so I didn't have any like oxygen or crazy breathing issues. Um, the hardest parts so far were like the insane fatigue, the coughing, the chest soreness because you're coughing but also you can feel like your lungs are just like really being tested throughout. I didn't lose my sense of taste but I did lose my sense of smell for a couple of days. It actually came back on Christmas morning which was like my Christmas miracle. <laughs> I haven't left my apartment since the 18th of December and it is now the 27th of December. Um, basically they tell you that after you've quarantined for X amount of days and you haven't had any symptoms you can assume that you are no longer contagious but I just want the peace of mind of getting a negative test so I'm going to continue to quarantine for a few more days until I'm able to get a test that hopefully comes back negative. So yeah this Christmas was even weirder than I thought it was going to be. I did not expect to spend Christmas by myself in my apartment. I still have my tree up. I did end up decorating it. It was like one of the last things I did before I was completely wiped from exhaustion and just being so tired. Um, this shot I feel like is a complete misrepresentation of what my house looks like right now because I've basically just been like stacking soup dishes and tea and such like all around so there's just like stuff everywhere and anything that I've needed I've either had to have like a friend drop it off contactless or order delivery so there's like delivery bags and like boxes and stuff just everywhere but I'm trying not to push myself now that I'm starting to feel better because I did that yesterday and ended up like taking back-to-back -back naps and still like sleeping for 10 hours so slowly but surely getting there and I'm just grateful that the, my case was the way that it was and I just pray that no one else gets this and that we're able to be on the other side of this soon. So obviously since Vlogmas was cut short there are a lot of end of year videos that I had planned that I either haven't had the chance to film or like couldn't even do like I had a whole plan to do a decorating my apartment for Christmas video that obviously didn't get to happen um so right now my plan is I'm still gonna do the end of year blog post that I typically do so my favorite books of 2020 will come out the first week of January um, I'm also gonna do like my goals I'm gonna do that as a video and show you guys how I use the power sheets planner that I talked about a few vlogs back I'm going to try to film setting up my next bullet journal and show you the notebook that I'm gonna use um I'm gonna do a blog post on my best purchases of 2020 and just try to end the year with some strong content. It's really been hard to be so exhausted and so tired all the time <clears throat> and not be able to like work the way that I want to and I know I talked about in a few videos ago redefining my relationship with work but this like being thrust into having no other choice but to not do anything has just like it's been a doozy hopefully the next video you see from me before the end of the year is either my 2021 bullet journal setup or my goals hopefully i get both of those videos done but i'm not making any promises right now i'm just gonna do my best but i really am just focused on feeling better and making sure that like my body is okay because even though i had a milder case like this thing is we don't know a lot about it still so I'm just trying to be like very vigilant and cautious and wellness focused as the year ends because health is really everything and I have to prioritize that obviously. That's what happened with Vlogmas. That's where I've been. Even though this has been such a hard year and obviously this ending to the year for me is just like the icing on the tragic cake. Um, I'm just so grateful for the people in my life like the way that my friends and my family have just like shown up for me whether it's like dropping off a meal or like offering to watch movies with me on Netflix since I'm stuck in the house like I've just never felt more supported by my people and I think that if out of all of this that is the silver lining I'm pulling is that the community around me is just so incredible and even like on Instagram everyone who has 
wish me well checked in on me asked me how I'm feeling like I really appreciate it and it's not lost on me how valuable it is just to have some that kind of support in your life so I'm super super grateful anyway I don't even know how to end this video I hope you're all well I hope you're staying healthy I hope you had a happy holiday whatever you celebrate happy Kwanzaa today is the second day of Kwanzaa um Kuji Chakalia and yeah I just wish you all a very very happy merry whatever you're still celebrating and I'm really looking forward to a better 2021 so I'll see you all the next one is this what you want now feels like you're looking for something better.